This segment of the onion videograph series is entitled Disease Management of Downy Mildew. The video will review common practices used to produce transplanted and seeded onions, especially in relation to disease outbreaks and their management under varied conditions. Appropriate research results from various universities and industry programs will be reviewed. The major objective of this videograph is to aid in the accurate and early diagnosis of this onion disease and to implement timely management approaches to produce an economical, nutritious, and healthy product for the consumer. Onion downy mildew is caused by the fungal pathogen Peronospora destructor. Let us review the range of symptoms and signs associated with outbreaks of this pathogen. Initial downy mildew infection may be observed during early morning hours or after prolonged periods of cool, cloudy weather. These lesions often appear on lower portions of leaves that are less exposed to direct sunlight. Note the gray mycelium and spores of the fungus on this infected leaf. Leaves often fold over at infected points. Young lesions are oblong measuring a half to one inch in length and are yellow-green. Multiple lesions may develop on individual leaves of plants. Older lesions are slightly sunken, oval, and may exhibit a tan to pale purple color. Multiple lesions may cause a leaf to wilt and die back. Affected plants take on a tan to gray color on leaves and tips, which have been infected by the pathogen. Continued development by the pathogen results in sporulation on tissue seven to 10 days after infection. These spores are then spread by wind to other leaves and plants in the field and surrounding fields. A localized infection or focus may appear within 10 to 14 days after infection and eventually cause more widespread symptoms. Improper disposal of onion culls can add to this or next season's disease pressure. The downy mildew fungus can survive in systemically infected plants and bulbs and sporulate the following season to repeat the disease cycle. Crop rotation, or the lack thereof, can also add to this season's disease pressure. Continual cropping to onions can aggravate disease pressure within a localized area. Cultural practices, which emphasize excess and late season applications of nitrogen fertilizer, can delay crop maturity, increase canopy density, and predispose onions to infection by this pathogen, as well as affect groundwater quality. Irrigation practices which provide excess water on a short interval late in the season can also aggravate disease losses from downy mildew. Environmental conditions which favor sporulation and infection by downy mildew include periods of low to moderate temperature and high moisture. Environmental conditions can be monitored during the season in relation to crop development and the potential for outbreaks of downy mildew. Daily access to this weather information can be improved by use of satellite or cellular telephone communications. Knowledge of weather patterns and the potential for disease outbreaks can help prioritize scouting routines and schedules to detect potential problems before they become uncontrollable. Detection of early infection can enable producers to implement appropriate management strategies to economically minimize damage and produce a more healthy, nutritious crop. The following series of graphics provided by SEBA Plant Protection illustrate the infection process of a pathogen such as Peronospora destructor. Fungal spores are deposited by wind on the surface of an onion leaf. Spores germinate and penetrate the leaf within four to 10 hours if the environment is favorable. The fungus continues to grow within the leaf, forming fungal threads or hyphae. A more dense mat of mycelium then develops. Seven to 10 days after infection, the fungus can emerge to produce more spores, usually on the less exposed surface of the leaf. The spores are then blown by wind to continue the disease cycle. The stage of plant development when moderate to severe foliage damage or infection occurs is obviously related to loss in yield and quality. This is especially important during the last eight weeks of crop development at a time when downy mildew often appears in many production regions. Proper sanitation is important to remove previously infected or contaminated sources of plant debris and culls, which can provide the season's inoculum or disease pressure. Fungal pathogens can grow on this tissue and spores are then blown by wind to this season's plants to repeat the disease cycle. 
Crop rotation and crop alternatives also help reduce disease pressure. Onions should only be grown once every three to five years in a field. Rotate with cereals, legumes, and other vegetable crops. To produce a high quality crop of onions, it's important to select the appropriate variety for a specific production area. Avoid late maturing, heavy topped, and thick necked varieties. Follow local recommendations for planting dates, good seedbed preparation, and the use of certified seed and high quality transplants. Cultural practices should emphasize timely practices that favor crop development and minimize plant stress. Avoid late season applications of nitrogen and excess water that can aggravate disease outbreaks. When environmental and disease threats exist, timely scouting for early signs of infection is vital. Applications of appropriate fungicides can reduce damage and secondary spread of a fungal pathogen like downy mildew. Chemigation should use the smallest amount of water possible, ideally less than a quarter inch per acre. On the other hand, aerial applications should use the largest amount of water possible, ideally five gallons or more per acre. Ground rig based systems often use 25 to 50 gallons of water per acre. Regardless of application method, early detection of a disease threat followed by the thorough application of an appropriate fungicide on an effective schedule can reduce losses to yield and quality caused by downy mildew. Downy mildew can be managed by various fungicides which should be alternated to avoid selecting pathogen strains resistant to one type of chemistry. Timely applications of fungicides significantly reduce disease outbreaks in university research conducted in various areas. Likewise, onion yields were increased by these timely treatments. In some cases, the value of this protection would have netted an onion producer $500 to $1,000 more per acre than if the fungicide was not applied or if applications were delayed when disease threatened. As the crop approaches maturity, Cultural practices, again, become important tools to reduce disease losses. Minimize mechanical bruising and other damage to onions during undercutting, windrowing, and curing operations, since other pathogens, such as botrytis, can easily colonize weakened tissue. Properly cure onions so that the neck tissue and outer scales are well dried and therefore less susceptible to colonization by pathogens in the field, during transport, or in storage. Further treatment of bulbs with temperatures greater than 90 degrees Fahrenheit for a few days may be necessary to complete the curing process. In storage, maintain low temperature and humidity in accordance with local recommendations. Handle onions carefully during all phases of storage and marketing to prevent any bruising of or damage to bulbs. In summary, Follow sound, integrated pest management principles to produce and protect the onion crop. Plant high-quality seed and transplants in well-prepared seed beds during the appropriate time period for your area. Select productive, adapted varieties that will mature within the normal growing period in the area. Follow a moderate fertility program and timely irrigations as needed by the crop. When environmental and disease conditions threaten the crop, use timely and thorough applications of appropriate fungicides to reduce losses to yield and quality. Maintain high quality by carefully harvesting and handling bulbs. Proper storage conditions will enable producers to successfully market a quality and nutritious crop to consumers. This concludes the onion video graph on integrated pest management of downy mildew of onion, sponsored in part by SEBA Plant Protection and the Colorado State University IPM program.